Hey guys, it's Megan. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these super cute DIY patches. And these were super easy and fun to make. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So I started out by tracing out some circles on my piece of paper. So for the bigger circles, I used this bottle of wood glue. And for the smaller circles, I used the cap off of a gallon jug of Elmer's glue. And once you have your circles, you'll just want to draw whatever design you want into them. So the first one that I did says, on Wednesdays we wear black, and I put a little like outline drawing of Wednesday Adams in the middle. And for these patches, you're going to want to keep them fairly simple, like you don't want anything too detailed. So as you can see, I just did a pretty simple drawing of Wednesday Adams because guys, I am way too hyped for Halloween, like it's, it's bad, but... And then I made these other six designs, and some of these were inspired by a girl named Hanecdote on Tumblr, but she used to make these patches and she doesn't sell them anymore, and obviously mine are a little bit different, but I did get the sayings from her. And if you guys want to see more patch designs, you can check out my patches Pinterest board, which I will link down below. Next, you'll want to take some fabric, and I just used some fabric from an old t-shirt, and you're going to want to trace the design onto the fabric with a pencil. And I used a light box, which is perfect for projects like these, but if you don't have a light box, you can just hold your picture and your fabric up to a window and trace it that way. And I also outlined my design with a black marker to make it easier to see. And then you'll want to take your design and put it into an embroidery hoop. And if your fabric is stretchy like mine, you're going to want to take a thicker fabric like some denim, and I just used some old jeans, and I put that on the back of the fabric so that the fabric would be easier to embroider. And as you can see, I started stitching on the t-shirt fabric, but then I quickly realized that that was way too stretchy, so I took some denim and I put that on the back. And this made it a lot more sturdy and way easier to embroider. And if you guys don't want to use this t-shirt and jeans method that I used, you can also use canvas fabric. And I would use, personally, a canvas drop cloth, which you can get at any home improvement store because they're pretty cheap and you could make so many patches with that. And so I just went ahead and I embroidered along the lines that I drew. And I didn't do anything fancy, I just used a simple backstitch for everything, like the letters and also Wednesday Adams. And for this particular design, I used three strands of embroidery floss, but if I were to do this again, I would use six strands, because on all of the other patches that I made, I used six strands, and it went much faster. I mean, the other patches were smaller too, but like, I feel like this one would have gone faster. At least for the letters anyways. And once my design was done, I went ahead and took six strands of embroidery floss, and I stitched around the edges of the patch. Once you're happy with your design, you're going to want to cut it out, and cut it out very carefully, making sure not to cut any of the stitches open. And once you have your patch cut out, you're going to want to take some pins and pin your patch to a thicker fabric. For this patch, I used fleece, but I also used felt for some of the other patches. And then I just cut around it, and I made sure to leave a little space to make kind of like a border with the fleece. Next, I used some fabric glue to attach the two pieces together. And you could just leave your patches like this, but I decided to take it one step further and embroider around the edges. So I just took my embroidery thread and I took all six strands and threaded them through the needle. And then I folded it in half and tied a knot and tied the two like sides of the thread together so that it would double up and just make it a thicker thread so that I could go around the edges more easily. And I did what I believe is called a whip stitch around the edges. Um, basically, you just go in through both layers of fabric, and then you like go around the edge and then bring it up. Hopefully, you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. And if you guys have any questions, definitely just Google like whip stitch, and it will probably show you guys what I mean. And so if you decided to stitch around the edges, this is what your patches should look like when they're done. And I ended up making four patches, but I'm definitely going to be making more in the future because these were definitely fun and easy to make. And you have a few options for attaching your patches to your desired piece of clothing. I ended up using heat and bond, which is an iron-on material. But you could also attach them using fabric glue or needle and thread. And if you're using the heat and bond method, you're going to take your heat and bond and make sure that you have the stickier side facing up and the paper side facing down. And you're going to want to cut out a piece that is about the size of your patch. 
Then just iron the piece onto the patch according to the package directions. And if you get this specific one, it told me to put it on there for eight seconds. And once the patch is cool, you can cut off any excess, being very careful not to cut any of the stitching. And then all that's left to do is iron them onto your desired piece of clothing. So I decided to put them on this denim jacket that I got from Target. And so I just put these three patches onto the left side of the jacket. And on the right arm, I put the Wednesday Adams patch. But I kind of messed that one up, so I'm going to have to go back and fix it. And you guys can fix this if you just heat it up again. You can like peel it off. Um, so that's like a tip if you're using heat and bond. And I'm definitely going to be making more of these patches in the future, and I'm going to be putting them on this jacket. So if you guys want to be up to date on that, you can follow me on Instagram or Tumblr, where I will be posting the pictures of that. And also, let me know in the comments which patch was your favorite, because I think that mine was definitely the Wednesday Adams patch, just because, you know, I'm a sucker for Wednesday Adams. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one, and make sure to follow me on Instagram, Musical.ly, Tumblr, and you now. They are all Weller Megs. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!